Hey guys, it's it's Jen. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. We have some visitors here today that I want to introduce you to. They came up all the way from Tennessee. Malka, you want to introduce our new friends? There they are. <laughs> hey friends, I'm Ashley. Hey and I'm Kevin. I'm Myla and I'm And they are homesteaders from Tennessee. We're gonna show them around the garden. It's raining and the weather's kind of crummy, so I'm not gonna record a lot of it, but I wanted to introduce you guys. What is your channel called? Uncommon Roots Homestead. They share great videos of gardening and starting a homestead from scratch in Tennessee. So definitely check them out. Um, we're excited to have them here. Hey friends, it's a beautiful day. It is August, which is really hard to believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick some produce. I'm gonna harvest um, and bring something in for dinner. We're gonna do General Sal's tofu for dinner. So we're gonna make like um, a simple breaded tofu and pan saute it. And, and then I'm gonna saute some veggies like kale and green beans and onions, some peppers. I think that's good. I think that's gonna be really delicious. So I'm gonna go around and pick some stuff from the garden. I'll bring you guys along with me so you can, you can see my harvest. My harvest basket is still full from my harvest the other day. So I'm going to unload this real quick and, and then we're gonna take it outside and harvest the rest of dinner. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you So on my agenda, I wanna pick banana peppers, an onion, kale. There was a fourth thing that I'm trying to remember. Oh, and some green beans, and also some Thai basil. So let's go, let's go do that. That one is no good. Got my banana peppers in here. Let's go grab an onion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of my Walla Walla since they're nice and big and they don't store very well. Okay guys, I also need to pick this tomato because it's blushing and if something happens to it out here, I'm gonna be pinching myself for not picking it. Um, blushing fruit is totally fine for ripening on the counter. I've never grown a tomato this big before. And it looks like it's got some um, late blight damage. So I'm glad I picked it because I can at least use the good stuff and ignore this gross part and use the rest as soon as it ripens. Do you want to see a huge tomato? Sure. What is it? It's a tomato. Why well, I know it's a tomato. What kind of tomato is it? I think it's a gold medal. We've never had a tomato this large, have we? I don't think so. It's I think it's the, the largest. largest tomato I've ever grown. But it's pretty impressive. How many pounds do you think it is, Malachi? Do I hold it? Do I hold it? Gotta drop the ball. You're gonna need both hands for this one. <laughs> you wanna roll it down the slide? Oh, a tip in the scales here. Consensus is that this is the biggest tomato we have ever grown, I have ever grown, that's ever come out of our gardens. So that's pretty cool. Even though our tomato crop is really bad this year, I mean, so bad, we still grew the biggest tomato ever. <laughs> okay, so I still need um, green beans, Thai basil, and I also want to pick some of these um, small little eggplants that I got seeds from from my friend Meg at Seed to Fork. It looked like it looks like some are finally ready, so let's pick some of those guys because they're super cool looking. So I saw these in her garden last year, and I really wanted to try them. They're so cool. So I got this one right here, and I'm gonna pull off. Aren't they so cool? They're so fun. So I just need to pick some green beans and kale and Thai basil. They also need to pick some cucumbers in here just so they don't get too big. I saw them earlier. So I'm gonna pick some dragon tongue beans because those are some of my favorite. Goes round and round. Just pick. Just break. 
I'm picking these lemon cucumbers too because I'm not sure when they're right, but I think these are right. So in here, we've got some lemon cucumbers. Some more of those. And then let's pick some curly kale, which I've got right here. This is some gorgeous curly kale. This curly kale is doing awesome. It's my favorite kind of kale. I just pick from the bottom up. Shaking off the snails and stuff. So we've got, that's good for dinner. And the last thing I wanna do before we head inside for dinner, <laughs> excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Um, I wanna pick a bouquet. So I have some dahlias that I saw ready. I'm gonna pick some zinnias and some cosmos and some straw flower and put it all together in a be beautiful bouquet. So I'll bring you guys along with me because flower gardening is such a wonderful part about gardening in my experience. The only dilemma is I can't find my pruners anywhere. So I'm going to see if I can find those guys. Let's walk. Let's walk through the kitchen garden and see if I can find the pruners. If I can get by the squash. There's so many melons on this plant right now. There are so many on this plant. There's a little baby one in there. There's another little guy. One thing this kitchen garden has taught me is that our plants love the horse manure because we put horse manure that wasn't even very well aged in this kitchen garden right under a couple bags of soil on top of some rotted hay. So I might try out a new model in one of our garden beds this year where I put rotted hay down first and then put down horse manure and then put down better aged compost um, and plant on top because I think that that really helps with drainage. Well, I did not find the pruners I was looking for, but I did find one set of pruners. So let's go out into the cut flower garden, which I haven't actually shown you guys yet. And let's cut some dahlias, see what else we have in there. But I haven't shown you guys this space since it was just planted. Okay, let me turn the camera around and show you guys this cut flower garden. It's a bit of a mess. So this is the main bed, I would say, and this bed is looking lovely. We have zinnias, cosmos, marigolds, straw flower, and then dahlias, and they are just coming in and looking so beautiful. So let me get this guy. So pretty. really beautiful bouquet here but I need to pick just uh, a few more flowers um, I think just some more zinnias from the kitchen garden maybe some um, basil with some basil too oh this garden's got some beautiful flowers as well got this beautiful bouquet here but I need to strip off all the lower leaves which is a must follow tip <laughs> if you are making your own bouquets you strip off all the lower leaves of everything except for the greenery that you're adding and I'm gonna go ahead and do this sitting on the blanket with Malachi and Chris so I'll get you guys set up so you can watch Okay, 
Okay guys, I've got this gorgeous, just beyond gorgeous, the prettiest bouquet I've ever made um, done. I'm glad I was able to bring you guys along with that. And I've got our food harvested just on the ground over there. So we're gonna bring it inside. We're gonna saute up some veggies. Um, I'm gonna bread and lightly pan fry some tofu, make some brown rice, and make a quick Asian general sauce sauce and make it, mix it all together and make delicious bowls for dinner. So we're gonna head inside and get that done and we'll see you guys next time. Bye friends. Stay, bye bye.